Hello people. Well, once again, this is my 98 Ford F-150. Pickup truck. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I got the um, 4.6 liter V8, 220 horsepower. Uh, anyway, what I'm working on today, in case you have this problem, is the exterior fuse box. Okay, if you come under here, under the hood, under this mess here, you can see all my equipment. <laughs> Not doing anything the way it should be, but I'm doing it to get it done quickly and not have to pay a lot of money to the um, to the auto repair shop. Okay, that exterior fuse box you can see is on the uh, driver's side here. Now, <clears throat> they get old like this. The, uh, the metal, there's metal brackets that are about this high. They're about four inches high. There's um, two of them. There's one on each side. I, I can't even remember. I, I don't know if they're like this and like this. I believe anyway they form like a bridge one up here one up here I think it was and they hold this fuse box approximately a couple inches two three inches off of the uh, little flooring there that holds this area so what happens after a long time it rains and somehow it, it managed to the moisture the rain whatever gets up under there and it rots it out it rusted out rots it out the little metal arms rust off of here and this thing would just fall in on the ground. It was just flopping around, which isn't a good thing to have. It's full of power, high power wires and equipment, fuses. Uh, when I found it was laying on its side. <laughs> now one day I almost got stuck at the gas station. Uh, anyway, what I did in case you run into this problem and you want to put out a lot of money and want to do it yourself, I... Uh, I, I pulled the box out of there the best I could. I didn't untouch none of the wires, definitely not. But I pulled the box up, I tilted it to its side, and I uh, disconnected those two little metal holders that were rusted away to nothing. There was only half of them hanging there. So there's a, you put a screwdriver in this end and this end, and you kind of wiggle it around and it unclips. And I threw that mess, rusted metal away. Uh, okay, and then this has to be raised off the ground at least uh, maybe an inch and a half to two inches minimum. The little brackets are holding about three inches high. Okay, so what I did as a shortcut, as you can see, I haven't fully attached this yet. I'm going to lift this up. This is about how I found it too. Anyway, you can see I, uh, I cut some two by four. And... Uh, Shaped it a little bit. It's only about three or four inches long by about three inches wide. Wouldn't matter, give or take an inch. Anyway, I don't pull this up too much, but you can see I put a screw right through the center there and right through the frame, which was okay. There was nothing under it. Before I, before I screw, tighten the screw down, I put some, uh, some good adhesive caulking. You can use silicone. You can use poly seam seal, as long as it says adhesive caulking. Spread it all over that wood, press it down real good, and then I run the screw through it. Okay, you can see there's this red wire that runs here. Maybe that's why they had that little bridge arc going across. I don't know. But anyway, now this will just seat down on there. I tape this box together because once you take those metal rusted brackets off this, uh, there's nothing holding this secondary electrical part that hangs on the back. I don't know what they call it, but where my finger's tapping at. It's another box. So I just taped it with duct tape real good all the way around. It ain't going nowhere. Okay, because um, that was supported by those same two brackets. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and seat this down, but I'm running my... You can use uh, adhesive caulking again, or you can do what I'm going to do to make it dry faster. I've got a hot melt glue gun and I'm eating some hot melt glue right now I'm gonna put some strips a lot of hot melt glue right on that piece of uh, lumber there and then I'm gonna press this down press this whole plastic box down there I clean the bottom real good to let it instantly dry and let everything come together and bond and and keep that held in place real good where water won't hurt it if it does get wet etc 
Uh, hope everything works out real good on this, and I hope this will help you if you run into the same predicament, because like everything else, uh, things get old and they fall apart, and we don't have a whole lot of money to put out. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them below, and have a great day.